For a tourist on safari, this is the dream shot. A close-up encounter with one of the big five. That's a term coined by big game hunters for the five most dangerous African animals to hunt on foot. And that's exactly what happened to this lion. We lost one of the icons. Cecil, with his distinctive dark mane, was a star. The best known animal in Wenge National Park. Uh -huh. Officials say earlier this month, Cecil was lured out of the protected park with bait. Then he was shot. First with an arrow, then 40 hours later, finished off with a gun by a tourist who paid $55,000 to local guides. The person involved or the offender uh, is a gentleman who is an American called Walter James Palmer. Palmer, a Minnesota dentist who's a star of his own in the world of bow hunting. He's traveled the world to bag a zoo's worth of animals, from leopards to rhinos, but not always legally. In 2008, he was sentenced to a year of probation for making a false statement to wildlife officials after killing a black bear. In a statement today, Palmer said he was sorry he'd shot Cecil. I had no idea that the lion I took was a known local favorite, was collared and part of a study until the end of the hunt. I relied on the expertise of my local professional guides to ensure a legal hunt. Around the world, outrage over Cecil's death is growing. An online mob lit their torches, took to Twitter, and crashed the dentist's website. Some angry Minnesotans even turned up at the dentist's office at home, but he wasn't there. It upsets me that people can be so stupid to take a life like that, whether it's human or not. The thing is, shooting lions is legal in Zimbabwe if you have the right permit. But according to researchers, of the 34 tagged lions that died over the last decade and a half, 24 were shot by sport hunters. The two Zimbabweans who helped bag Cecil will be charged with poaching. Authorities say Cecil's skin will be used as evidence.